How did King define nonviolence? What, according to him, were its key principles? I think, first of all, King and most other advocates of Gandhian nonviolence define it as resistance. That it's, in a way, I think both King and Gandhi were um, uneasy with the with the term nonviolence because it it says what it's not rather than what it is. And I think for both of them, there there should be a more active term. And 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 I think that um, King would always talk about about it first of all as as resistance, uh, strong resistance, um, resistance that has the a lot of spiritual and sometimes physical power behind it because it's the power of bringing large numbers of people into a struggle as opposed to a violent struggle, which is almost inherently a small group of people. And um, so, so I think that he would define it as resistance that tries to achieve a goal that does not involve the destruction of the other side, that in, involves trying to, you know, as he put it during the Birmingham campaign, or I think even as early as the Montgomery campaign, it's, it's not to defeat white people or white authority, it's to empower justice and to bring justice into, uh, into the relationship between those in, in authority and those who are subordinate. So, so I think the question for King is, how do you do this? And uh, he uh, and the people in, in his organizations developed uh, a set of ideas and that um, tactics and strategies that that made sense in terms of trying to bring about a result that was um, sustainable. I mean, one of the the um, the goals of of any movement is how, not only what you win, but how do you keep what you won? And uh, and and nonviolence does that because it helps uh, change the ideas of those on the other side. And once those ideas have changed, then you don't always have to use violence to keep whatever goals you've achieved. Um, I think, finally, um, I think for King, it was a spiritual concept that had to do with his notion of, of religion. Um, that uh, religion was not just some, an institution, the church, it was a, a spiritual idea that there is a, uh, a moral force in the universe. And uh, as he put it, that it bends towards justice. And that a movement that is in concert with that moral force can achieve a great deal. Um, so, so I think that for him it was, it was a much more complex idea than simply the notion that it's simply a refusal to use violence. It's a, it's a willingness, a desire to use uh, other tactics and strategies um, that are in the end more effective.